So then, here I am in Newcastle for my final game of the season. England versus Bosnia in a friendly. Now only 11 days from Euro 2024, which is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be England's first Euro Championship win. It's been a fantastic season. I've done over 130 games, over 75 on this channel alone. I just want to quickly thank you all for your support this season. It's been brilliant doing the YouTube again. I know I took a break for a few years and I wasn't enjoying it, but my trip to Rotterdam on Friday on the train back all i was thinking about was how much i'm enjoying doing this again so i just want to thank everyone for that nice beautiful day it's 20 odd degrees here in england we're on the river time i'm excited to be in newcastle as well i've never actually been here before i think it's like the only big city in england i've never actually been to so i'm well and truly making the most out of my time here and a little bit of exploring and as you can see in the distance there is tonight's venue can't come to Newcastle without getting a Greg's. Proper English cuisine, local pepperoni pizza. I want to point out how nice Newcastle is. Do not slag the north off. The only issue I've got, why have Lucasade adopted this? These lids are not good. Now overlooking the city of Newcastle, you have St. James's Park. And this is a ground that has always fascinated me. I'm really surprised that I've left it so late. Today it makes it 87 and the 92 going into next season. So I've only got five left. A little bit like Sparta Rotterdam on Friday. This is another bucket list ground. I've always wanted to come here. I'm so excited for tonight. It's not just the ground as well. I'm not that much of a geek. The atmosphere is always good at these England games. I went to the game at Old Trafford last year. The one I'm modeling in the year for actually, you probably forget about that. I've just done my little lap of the ground and as expected, it's absolutely massive. But one reason it's so unique is two of the stands are huge and the other two are considerably smaller. And that's simply because all these buildings here are listed. So they were never able to expand this stand or the Gallagate because it goes onto a main road. This ground holds over 50,000 and they're saying it's still not big enough for Newcastle. Not big enough for Newcastle so much that they put the away fans all the way up there as much as i want to be in the premier league that's one thing i'm not looking forward to i don't know why anyone's getting a half an hour for this one and here we are then into st james's park and i've got to say it's an absolutely huge ground very very impressive very low down as well and just over there we got Oh, legend, that's me, Just as I expected, an absolutely massive fan of this stadium. It's unreal when you're coming here. I believe that's usually the away end, but tonight the Bosnia fans are just in that small section there. The team is completely different than what I expected. I'd only say really three or four of them are going to be starting for England in the Euros. No Anthony Gordon at all. The blokes on the programme. Well, uh, just like that. So James's Park is filled up. Oh, well, there you go. Nice to see we're in the awakening. There you go then, kick off. That's St James's. The England fans sing this about three different players. We finally got a decent track to corner. 25 minutes in. To be honest, it's not like I can really see from here. Oh, yeah, keep recording. Just over half an hour in. It's just your typical England friendly. We're playing some really, really good stuff with the ball, but when we're coming forward, Bosnia are dealing with us. Best chances have come from corners. They had a corner and it was headed away. Other than that, a pretty boring game. We've got some England fan over there in the half. That's Cowie, MK Don's flag. I don't know what that's all about. Have we go. Oh. Well, then, goalless at half time. It's not been filled with much entertainment. England have had one or two half chances. They're just giving the ball away. Like I say, in very, very sloppy areas. Bosnia came close to taking the lead. It wasn't for a good save from Jordan Pickford, which went out for a corner. Maybe a few changes at half-time. I know it's a weakened team. You know, I know I'm saying it's not going to be a confidence for the Euros. And it's not the strongest of sides. This is what Southgate seems to do. just want to see some ambition second half. Bosnia just seem really, really hungry and motivated. And if we're not careful, we'll get a goal in this game. Take a bit 
to his back row. I thought I saw him play the other week until about the 80th minute. I realised it wasn't him. Of course, Joe Cole as well. I'll never forget his free kick against Barnsley. What a player. I'm actually very shocked they've been able to point out some highlights, but it seemed like Watkins had a shot on target. Not like I can see it from all the way over here. Both teams back out on the pitch for the second half. Hopefully something inspiring. Some better free kicks from you, so you're doing it again, yeah? Oh. So much more confident now than before. By the first half, the second half is absolutely flown by. I feel like we've had 20, 30 chances in this game. I feel like the 1-0 curse is going to carry on. If this game ends 1-0 somehow, the amount of chances in goal than in this second half, then I'm genuinely cursed. Madison nearly had a good chance there, but I'm genuinely cursed. The past three games I've been to in three separate countries have all ended 1-0. Everybody is cleared off from St James's Park. That's my final game of the season. Great 3-0 win for England. I'm happy with that heading into the Iceland game and then the Euros away from the game. I just want to thank everybody that has watched the videos this year, supported me, subscribed, liked, spoke to me at games because to be honest, if you'd have told me a year and a half ago that I'd do a full season of videos, I'd do every single Coventry game, I'd do videos in Spain, Belgium, the Netherlands, Scotland, a couple of videos in Ireland, I wouldn't have believed you if I'm honest, but here I am. I started doing YouTube videos at the end of 2010. It was genuinely just silly little videos of me opening match attack packets, me talking about football and WWE. I've had experiences of football, like football now is my main, main hobby. And I love making videos and editing videos and presenting. 
I was even on the BBC pre-match to the FA Cup final, which is absolutely insane. And as much as I don't want to speak about the FA Cup semi, that game against Man United, it was just as bad as the game against Luton last year. I actually quit vlogging in 2020, and that was genuinely because I wasn't enjoying doing the videos anymore. Coventry were playing at St Andrews. We weren't in a great position. For the next couple of seasons, I'd have people coming up to me. I'd be usually steaming at away games, and they'd be just as steaming as me, asking when are the videos back. And I used to always answer saying, they're probably never going to come back. I already know next season's going to be even bigger and away day in Germany, Werder Bremen at home. And they're the only two games we know about at the moment. So thank everybody for watching this year. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next season.